This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Inspection day. Oh no. Let's hope everything goes really smoothly. So I'm picturing a small shop in here. Like small woodworking bench, hand tools, small personal office where I could go out and do some, some, some woodworking, some leather work, as well as do editing. Like make it a really nice and cozy little space away from the big shop. Love that idea. So we had several inspections for the house. First we had just a general inspection for the whole property and the house and everything. And that went really great. Didn't really find anything that was wrong, just little tiny little small things, which was not a big deal. Uh, then there was a radon inspection, which was also good. There was a septic inspection, that was good. There's a well on this property, which is new for us. And so there was a test for the well, which was good. And there was a termite test. Oh, yes, right, termite. Mm -hmm. That was good. They're all good. <laughs> That's right, there was a land survey just to establish like land rights. The boundaries, the boundaries on the property. No confidence and restrictions on this property at all. Right. Today, though, we are going to look at something completely different. Now we're going to be living in the country. Whenever we go into town to pick stuff up, we're going to buy more stuff. We're not going to make these spontaneous trips like we used to, where we pick up two two by fours and you know have them cut a sheet of plywood so it fits. You know, we used to do that in the Mustang with the top down. So now we're thinking that we should get some sort of situation going where we either pick up a truck or we could pick up a like a Jeep Wrangler and then have a trailer. So we want something that all of us can fit in. Uh, so we can use the cars interchangeably. So we could fit, you know, us and the baby and the dog. Much tighter. Yeah, I don't think you could fit a car seat in there. So this has a bed liner. Now I've never had a truck before and um, we're kind of open as to what brand. So either Ford, a Toyota, a Ram or the Jeep route. It's got 34, almost 35,000 miles on it. Okay. Look how massive these look. Look how this big is this thing is. This is a 250. You know, we've been using a trailer now driving across the country with this car, and I think it's kind of tricky to park. It's tricky to maneuver around in that sense. Uh, so I don't love that idea from that point of view. Although I really like the idea of like a Wrangler or a Jeep or something because that would just sounds like a lot of fun. You know, you could use it to go on adventure and go off-roading and all of that. Which you could do with a truck too. Yes, because you could. But it doesn't have the same like feel as a Jeep, you know? I agree. Yeah. Okay. I love the idea of the truck though like the spontaneity of it compared to having a trailer on the Jeep for example because I can imagine you wouldn't always bring the trailer with you other than when you know for sure you're going to go to the store to pick up wood or plywood or something whereas if you have a truck you know you can be more spontaneous where you're like oh by the way I happen to drive across this awesome place where I found nice wood and then you can just like oh I got the truck that's really cool I can put it in the back there and you don't have to plan so much So I would like four wheel drive under 40,000 miles. So you're going used? Used, yes. Yeah. Not not new. Side rail so it's easier to get in and out of it. I definitely want the navigation with a backup camera so that you can see when you back up. Truck liner. One thing we would like is to have the sensors on the front and the back. And the back so that you don't accidentally hit something. The, the, these trucks are so much higher than I'm used to. It's harder to see around both front and back. So what is your sense so far? It's definitely like more, ooh, you know? Yeah. I feel like I'm the captain of a big boat or something. It seems pretty huge. I'm, I'm higher up and like every time you, you kind of make a turn or something, it's definitely different. I mean, the whole thing's gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's really nice. So we're having the 
meet up here now. A planer and a CNC and a chop saw. Hi, Adam. Lazy guy DIY. Yes. Yes. We're having an awesome time out here at Hardywood Brewery, the West Creek uh, location. Lynn, you set all this up. I, I did so much work. And so much fun to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. It's been great. It's other people's fault. So going to uh, check out some appliances. Um, need to get a fridge freezer unit and a dishwasher to move into this house because right now there's no fridge. So the kitchen we're getting I mean, it's, it's, in, it's in decent shape, but I definitely want to renovate it. I'm thinking about how we actually live. We do a fair amount of cooking, and now living in the country, you're not gonna run to the store all the time. Initially, we were actually thinking about buying like the restaurant style, full size door, fridge and freezer unit side by side. Uh, but the thing is, the kitchen is not really sized for that. So you'd have to rip some cabinets off, which is fine. But the thing is we need a fridge freezer unit like right away. I'm not sure if I want to be taking down cabinets right off the bat. So that kind of made me think about that maybe a traditional fridge freezer unit wouldn't be such a bad idea. This one's got the flex up here. Hey, independently either a fridge or a freezer. Oh, all shelves and access to stuff in this door here. Some of these have really you know, these kind of new fancy versions that have like the screen on. And here you have at least two drawers at the bottom. So it seems like that would be easier to organize. I guess the bottom line is I don't really know exactly what um, I want. And I don't want to like rush out and buy something right off the bat. So yeah, not quite sure what I'm getting. Of course, it's always fun to come to the store and look around and kind of get a feel for what exists. So yeah, just kind of thinking about it, what to get here. So we're doing a final walkthrough of the house today and tomorrow we get access, we get to move in. So really exciting. Kind of funny because we haven't actually seen this house yet without furniture in it. It was furnished before so it's going to be different to just see it all empty and you know so looking forward to that. Well, I'm sure yeah. Oh good. <laughs> I mean, this cannot be load bearing, right? I want to take these out. I don't like these. But I love the transom over the window. That's pretty nice. Kind of thinking about opening up this wall a little bit. Like a big bit of an opening would be really cool. To have some of that light come through. There is a fireplace in our new living room. I thought we'd try it out. Yeah. Ooh, it's working, Mary. It's like I've been walking through everywhere and I almost forgot how much space there is. It's like so different from what I'm used to. Our house in Corvallis was so, so tiny. The shop was so tiny and just walking around here and the property and all the trees and the lawn and... Ah, oh, I can't believe there's so much space. I just need like time to just soak it all in because it's so cool. Tomorrow we're moving in. We're gonna have our huge container come here. We're gonna start unpacking in this heat and That's what's going on There's like a million projects to do here There's a shop to finish. There's an upstairs to finish. There's a little shop to finish There's a house to remodel a kitchen to remodel a bunch of projects in there There's a bunch of landscaping and building that I want to do all around this property. There's so many things to do but uh, those will have to be in the future. So thanks for following along in this journey so far. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. See you soon. Bye.
Now, I want to take a moment and thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And I mean, one of the reasons why we can do this kind of move, I mean, we're not tied down to a specific location, is because we're working with awesome companies like Squarespace. And as you guys know, I've been using Squarespace for years for my website, which I use to put up new videos. And I also run a small shop from there selling beeswax polish and sometimes other things. And I really love their system because it's so easy to use. Their templates are really nice. They're easy e-commerce works great. They've got 24-7 customer service, so yeah, it's quite perfect. Now, if you've been thinking of making a new site, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Darbin Orver to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's pretty cool.